Well, didn't I pick up a bargain today? So, found this on Facebook Marketplace. A uh, man had uh, uh, a load of what they, I think what it's called is uh, mill tailings, meaning uh, some of these boards are various thicknesses. So, for instance, this one here is uh, basically, I'd say, 5 sixteenths. But you get a couple of boards here that uh, are about 7 eighths. So they're all different, uh, different thicknesses through it. Uh, here's a piece of poplar and that's about uh, oh just under about seven sixteenths be my guess but a lot of these if you look on the ends here are between three quarter and half inch uh, most of it's 10 feet long there's some uh, 12 footers in there but I only ended up paying six hundred fifty dollars for this so I think I've worked it out to probably over 750 square feet, not board feet, square feet. But I do dovetail drawers, and if I'm doing dovetail drawers, this kind of material works perfectly for it. Maybe not the quarter inch stuff, but certainly anything that's just over a half inch. 9 sixteenths is actually my preferred uh, thickness for dovetail drawers, and I'll show you why in a second. But I'm quite happy with this uh, this pile here. It's been sitting outside for about, uh, he said about a year. I'm going to say a little bit less, but it's probably dry enough that I can put it up in my shop and I'll stack it up in the attic uh, space and let it sit for six months and then get working on it. So here's my plan for the material. So this material here is ash that I milled up uh, a couple of years ago and I turned them into uh, planking for dovetail drawers. So they're about eight inches wide and if I need a four I just split it in half and I can make my drawers out of that. So this is a drawer right here. This is a dovetail one that I make in-house here. But here's the thing. I can't make these things if I have to pay the commercial rate for lumber. So let's say uh, even birch is let's say three and a half to four dollars a board foot. I can't, I just can't make enough money to produce drawers at a, at a, at a proper shop rate. So I need to get material cheaply. So with this ash, it was basically a tree that I had milled and I had them uh, mill it to a certain size. And then I cut most of these pieces uh, myself to three quarter thickness, but then I milled everything down after it was glued and made it nine sixteenths. So I want to show you that. So right there, 9 sixteenths. And the reason I like 9 sixteenths for dovetail drawers is for this reason. So if you're using an undermounted track like this, where it's got the keeper in the back, uh, the gapping, if you have, let's say, a, let's say you have a 24 inch opening, then you need to have a, a deduction of a half inch. But that's only if you're using 9 sixteenths material. If you're using 5 8 you actually need a 3 8 opening, not a half inch. So I like half inch uh, for the, the simple fact it's much easier to do the math on it because half inch is just very simple. The other thing I like about this is 9 16 gives kind of a little bit more of a cleaner look and it doesn't look so bulky on the drawers because I, I really don't like it when you open up a drawer and it looks kind of fat. This is like the perfect size is 9 16 I find half inch a little skimpy 9 16 is just the sweet spot on it so that's my plan to to use this material for drawers but some of that uh, quarter inch I can use for center panels for shaker doors uh, I can glue them I can double them up I can turn a lot of that into baseboards uh, trims uh, crown molding uh, you name it, uh, the sky's the limit with that kind of material. So not all of it will be put into uh, dovetail drawers. I'm going to kind of select what I want out of it for that purpose. And uh, I'm going to see what I come up with. But I'm pretty happy with that. I think it works out to about $0.80 cents a square foot for all that material. I'd say that's a pretty good bargain.